And it's supposed to come out July something. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another most anticipated reads for the month of July 2017. I have a total of six books that I tried to pick the not so popular books to hopefully give you guys a little bit of variety from the normal books people talk about. So without further ado, let us get started. My first book I've actually already read, but I thought I would mention it anyways because I absolutely loved it. But it is called The Color Project by Sierra Abrams, and it comes out July 18th, 2017. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. If you want to hear my full thoughts on it, I talked about it in my... May wrap up for 2017 part 3. So I'll leave the video up there and down below if you want to check that out. Feel free to. This book follows a girl named Bernice who doesn't like her full name so she goes by B. She meets a boy named Levi who is constantly trying to figure out what her real name is but she obviously does not give it to him and that is when somebody in her family falls ill and she has to rely on Levi more and more and that means opening up towards him and eventually letting him know her real name. It's a story about friendship and loss and a bunch of other things. And it's just such a beautiful story so if you want to hear my full thoughts and like a better synopsis than what I gave you then check out my May wrap up video for that. The second book that I'm very excited about is called Lost Boy and it is the true story of Captain Hook and it is by Christina Henry and this is supposed to come out July 4th. 2017 and it's like a horror version of Captain Hook's origin story. She also wrote a Alice in Wonderland version of the origin story for Alice in Wonderland. It's called Alice and she also wrote Red Queen which is like the Red Queen origin story but horror versions. And I love me some horror so I definitely want to check this book out 100%. I'm very excited about it. The third book that I'm looking forward to is called A Stranger in the House by Shari LaPena. This book is supposed to come out July 27th, 2017. And it just sounds really interesting. I'm gonna read the synopsis off of my phone because I think that it makes it sound way cooler than I could actually give justice. So the synopsis is why would you run scared from a happy home? You're waiting for your beloved husband to get home from work. You're making dinner, looking forward to hearing about his day. That's the last thing you remember. You wake up in the hospital with no idea how you got there. They tell you that you were in an accident. You lost control of your car while driving in a dangerous part of town. The police suspect you were up to no good, but your husband refuses to believe it. Your best friend isn't so sure, and even you don't know what to believe. Like, um, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I'm intrigued, and if it's written, like, you blah 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 like how Caroline Kepney's you is written like I'm all for it and I'm very excited about it. The fourth book that I'm looking forward to for the month of July is The Secrets She Keeps by Michael Robtham and it is supposed to come out July 11th 2017. This book follows a young grocery store employee named Agatha who is pregnant with her absent boyfriend's child. Although she's very excited about the arrival of her baby, she can't help but feel jealous of Megan who is one of the grocery store's constant customers. Megan is living Agatha's ideal life. She has the perfect house, the perfect husband, two perfect children already. Megan even writes a parenting blog that Agatha reads religiously. So when Agatha finds out that Megan is pregnant and their due dates are in the same month, she has the courage to start up a conversation that will change both their lives forever. So like I'm just gonna put this forward. I'm like hoping that this is like a total like switch the babies kind of thing. Don't know if that will actually be a thing, but I want her to like try to steal Megan's child or something or like steal her life. I'm like living for that concept. Will it happen? I don't know, but I'm excited about it. The fifth book that I'm excited for for this month is called Little Monsters. It's by Kara Thomas. It's supposed to come out July 25th, 2017. This is a psychological thriller that follows a girl named Casey who moves to Broken Falls to live with her dad, her stepmom, her siblings, and her half-sister. Everything about Casey's life seems too good to be true, so when she meets two friends named Bailey and Jade and they become a very tight trio, she continues to think that her life is perfect. When Bailey and Jade start to become distant from Casey, she becomes very hurt and when they don't invite her to the biggest party of the year, she's obviously upset. So when Bailey never returns from the party, people begin to turn to Casey for the answers. I think that this sounds so cool. It's kind of like Gossip Girl or like Pretty Little Liars, like who killed who? I'm thinking that Casey had nothing to do with it and it was Jade. That's my prediction, but we'll see. 
when I actually read this book. If I actually read this book. Hopefully I read this book. And my final book I am looking forward to so much. And actually I'm getting a pre-order of it because I won a contest and I'm so excited about it. It's called The Act of Starving by Sam J. Miller and it is supposed to come out July 11th, 2017 and it follows a boy who suffers from anorexia, which I have never read a book. That focuses on a male anorexic, so I'm very excited to see what it's all about. And also, like, I love this cover so much. I think it's so, like, pretty, which is a weird thing to say about, like, a mental illness anorexia book, but I really like it. Alright guys, so those are the six books that I'm excited for the month of July 2017. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of these books or what you are excited for. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!